Okay, so we're actually going to be able to talk about something a bit more interesting today, and that is Huffman coding. And the reason why it's interesting is because it's actually useful. Um, it's, uh, it's a type of encoding for like file compression and stuff like that. Um, and uh, it's just it's really easy, it's simple, and kind of just kind of cool. So let's get started. Um, we're going to use the string stan for example now with Huffman coding what you do is you take each individual letter and you give it kind of uh, an arbitrary frequency I guess so let's assign s let's say s is frequency whoops is 8 let's say t is 9 let's say a is 14 again these are just random numbers that I'm kinda of pulling out of my ass here and let's make this uh, let's make it easy let's just make it 2 okay so now what we do is we rearrange these letters based on their frequency so you wanna have the smallest on this side so we've got four frequencies so our smallest is 2, our next smallest is 8, and then it goes 9, and then 14. And I'll just write the letters up here for comprehensive purposes, and then our A is 14, our 9 is T, and then our S is 8. So let's start building our tree. So we take our two smallest numbers, which are 8 and 2, and we are going to add them together. So we'll have 8, we'll have 2, and we'll add them together, which makes 10. So now we're going to replace 8 and 2 with 10 in our little kind of block thing here. Again, we rearrange so that the smallest is on the right. So now we only have three frequencies because we've added 8 and 2 together to form 10, which is bigger than 9. So now 9 is our smallest, 10 is our second smallest, and then 14 is still our largest. So now we just repeat, repeat that process. We'll add 10 and 9 together, which is 19. And now finally, we're going to add 10 and 9 together. Oh, whoops. We, yeah, we already did that. Never mind. <laughs> We'll rearrange our blocks here. So now we only have two frequencies, so we'll have 19, which we just calculated, and then 14. Oops. There we go. Now we're going to put all of our trees together. So at the very top, we'll have 33. Now 14 is a regular key. So we're going to keep it on the left here, and you'll see why in a bit. And then the key that we made by adding two keys together is 19 so we'll put that here okay and then 19 has two of its own children here so 9 was our regular key and 10 was the key that was made up of two keys okay 
and then 10 had two children which were two and eight great now the next step is to just remember which letters belong to which frequencies so a is our 14 t is our 9 n is our 2 and s is our 8 now this is where kind of the cool part comes in we have to assign paths to each one of the branches so this branch is 1 and this is 0 so left is always 1 and right is always 0 left is 1 right is 0 left is 1 right is 0 so what purpose does that serve these paths will kind of assemble our string so remember from the beginning our string is stan so now let's get some green in here make this tree red and green very festive um, let's see where our s is so for our s we'll start up here at our root and we have to follow this path so that means that s is zero to start oh we have to follow another zero to get down to s oh and we have to follow another zero to finally get to s so that means our s has the path zero 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 so when you're sending the encoding to someone um, they'll know that they have to travel zero 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 through their own tree to get s so now we'll do t uh, let's do blue for T. So we start at our root up here. That's where we start. And then we go down, so that's zero. And then, oh, we see that T is actually on this side on the left. So that's a one. So T is zero, one. Now A, uh, running out of colors here. A, we see from the root, we just take a 1 right away on that side. So A is just 1, and that's it. Uh, I guess we can do black for N. So we start with the 0 path here to get down to N. We have another 0 path here. And then we finally take a 1 path to get to our N frequency which means that n is zero, zero, 001. So that means that this whole string can be represented stan by the sequence zero, 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 0, 1, and 1. So this little binary sequence here is essentially the string stan. So how do we know where a character stops? Because if you're just sending this binary sequence, how do we know that we, we got a character? How do we know when we stop? Well, the ones on the left and the paths here kind of act as terminating characters. So we know that when we hit a one, or if we just continue on with zeros in the case of S, then we'll effectively reach the end, right? So if we have three zeros, that's the maximum number of zeros that we can have. We can't have two zeros, because if we follow two zeros, we'll end up at an added key, right? Which isn't anything, it doesn't correspond to a character. So we can't stop there, we have to keep going. So we have another zero. Oh, and then we hit an S. So we know that three zeros means S. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's Huffman coding for you guys. I hope that was at least a little bit helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and feel free to ask questions or suggest ideas for new videos. Happy studying.